Hey guys, Kelly Johns here at the Regal Cinemas in Atlanta, Georgia for the world premiere of the film Tulsa. I was able to catch up with some of the cast and crew of the film. Take a look. All right, everyone, we're now with Nicole Marie Johnson, who plays Jaylene in the film Tulsa. Nicole, what was your experience like overall working in the film? Oh my gosh, the experience. We had so much fun. And working with Livy and Scott was like a charm. And I think that this film is needed right now. Uh, it's a film about hope and redemption, and you know, the world needs that. We are here with Laura Pryor, producer of the film Tulsa. Laura, how excited are you to finally see the film in theaters tonight? I'm extremely excited. I've seen it several times during the post-production, during the editing process, but it's different to sit in a big theater and watch it with several other people and hear their reactions. It's, there's nothing like it. You and your husband worked on this film together. What was that like, working with your husband so closely on such a huge project? Well, my husband and I have been working together for many, many years in different capacities. We work very well together. He has a different skill set than I have, and I feel like we complement each other really well. We're here with the leading man, lead actor and director of the film, Scott Pryor. Scott, how excited are you to see the film on the big screen finally? I'm super excited. I'm most excited about seeing um, the impact it has on people's lives. That's the big thing for, for us making these films. Most of directing was upfront in terms of the big picture. You know, what is the story? Of course, with the script, pacing, timing. With that vision set, you know, you bring in your team, and my personal style is to empower people and let people come up and fulfill the role. How was the casting process with finding Libby? Did you know right away she's our girl? What did that look like? Sure, so the casting process in general, we had over 9,000 people submit, and there was some very, very fierce competition. There's some great actors in Georgia. Libby's awesome, she's fantastic. Um, she came in and she did a, a wonderful job. How was that working with your wife on such a huge project? Laura and I have worked together, honestly, our whole lives. Uh, sometimes if I dismiss an idea too fast and think through it, I'll realize, oh, she was right. <laughs> and so, so, uh, so I've learned you don't dismiss the idea is too fast because typically you'll come around and be like, oh, she is right. When both of you know what the end result is and that is to help other people and both of you have that mission and that passion, obviously it goes a lot better. Well, we can't wait to see the film and see more from you and your wife in the future. Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you. Thanks. All right, everyone, we are here with the leading lady, Livy Birch, who plays Tulsa in the film Tulsa. Tell us about your favorite scene in the movie, what, what moment you're most excited for all your fans and friends to see. I'm really excited for them to see the daddy-daughter dance, but my favorite seemed probably film was when I got to shove ice cream in a Scott's face. <laughs> have you ever shoved ice cream in someone's face in real life? No. I heard you mention you have a little brother. Do you think you'll ever shove some ice cream in his face? Probably. <laughs> was there any other moment during the process of filming that was really special to you that meant the most to you? Um, well, I turned 10 actually when we were on set and everyone surprised me with a little prank and I thought David, the first AD, was like really angry at everyone because he was like yelling, I really wanted to get this scene done. And then I walk out and everyone had birthday hats on with a big chocolate cake because I love chocolate and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch on it because I love Stitch. And they had one of my favorite foods, hot dogs, so it was just really cool. Okay, last fun question. If you could work with any actor in the world, who would it be? Uh, it would probably have to be Zendaya because I saw her in The Greatest Showman, but I also love Jamie Foxx because I've watched Annie so many times. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Great movie. I actually saw Jamie Foxx one time in Atlanta. Yeah. Didn't meet him though, just saw him. All right, well, Libby, you are so talented, and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are dreaming to work with you. Can't wait to see you in the movie. I am here with Miss Lexi Rabe and her beautiful mom, Jessica. You may notice Lexi from the movie Avengers. She played Morgan Stark. Lexi, are you excited or what to see Tulsa tonight? I'm so excited. Me too. How old are you now, Lexi? I am eight now. So the little girl in the movie is only nine, and you're going to be nine soon. What do you think nine has in store for you? I don't know. Um, a whole lot of stuff without COVID. I like that answer. Let's all hope next year has a whole lot of stuff without COVID. Well, we're very happy to have you both here tonight on the red carpet. Can't wait to see more of you later. We're here with Mr. Robert and Gloria Stella, co-director, co-producer of the film Tulsa. 
Uh, Gloria, what are you most excited for people to see in the film tonight? Um, I'm just excited for them to see something that's inspiring and uplifting, especially during this time um, with everything that the world is going through and just something that will inspire them. Gloria, how was it filming in your hometown of Augusta? Um, it was amazing because, you know, I recognize all the locations and, we, and being able to come back full circle and work with a lot of the same people that I went to high school with um, and bring them onto the project was a really unique experience. Lastly, how was it co-directing with Scott and working with him on the film? Um, it was amazing. I think Scott and I really work well together because he's really a, a big picture guy and has the overall vision of the story. And then I'm really into details. For him to be able to focus on his character, um, I was able to take the vision that we had discussed and really execute it and fill in the details to bring it to life. So it, we really had a chemistry going on. Wow, sounds like it. Well, we can't wait to see the film and see more from you both. Thanks so Thank much. You. We have Mr. Cameron Arnett and his beautiful wife, BJ Arnett, also both actors in the film. Cameron, is there a scene in the movie that you're most excited for people to see? Wow, I think the uh, discourse between myself and Tommy when we get to the, um, the garage is very telling. I think that God is really speaking um, as far as putting families back together, as far as having a heart and empathy for one another, and the fact that the biggest things that he wants to say may come in a small package. And I think people need to understand that God speaks in a small way sometimes, and it's not always the colossal things. And so we need to be quiet out in ourselves so we're able to hear him. Her name is Tulsa. Is there anything else, uh, Ms. BJ, that you hope people take away from this film in particular? You know that families come in all shapes and sizes, and they come together always come together to, to make a better good. So I think one of the things that we need to think about in this day and time is what does our family really look like? We are here with Carmen Mueller, who stars in the film Tulsa. Carmen, tell us about your role in the film. I play one of the three iconic mean girls named Mandy who gives Tulsa a hard time attending her new school. How is it playing a mean girl? I've done that before too, and it's like, it's so fun, but you don't want people to think you're really mean, so how is that? I mean, that's what acting is, stepping out of the box to portray a different character and tell a story. That was probably also my favorite part about the whole Tulsa film. Awesome. Well, we are really looking forward to seeing more of you in the future, Carmen. Thank you. We've got Odessa Feaster here, who stars in the film Tulsa. Odessa, tell us a little bit about your role in the film. Well, I play Nurse Wesley. And I'm very attentive to the little girl that's sick in the hospital. And I also befriend the father, and I stays on his tail to make sure he get his life together to take care of this baby. How excited are you to finally see the movie on the big screen tonight? I'm extremely excited because ever since I was eight years old, I've always wanted to work with John Snyder. I got a chance to in this movie. What's the message that you hope people take after they see this film, and how do you hope it impacts other people's lives? No matter how many mistakes you make in life, God will always forgive you and love you, and you can continue to live a good life if you just give your heart over to God and your will. I love that. Very powerful. Thank you so much, Odessa. We can't wait to see more of you in the future. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm here with Matthew. He just saw the film Tulsa. What do you think, Matthew? From start to finish, it just kind of grasps you in the middle. You just get caught up in the movie, and I caught myself uh, tearing up. Shoot, I don't think I've teared up that much since uh, Braveheart. I'm here with Reese Gould, another one of our mean girls from Tulsa. Reese, what was it like seeing yourself on the big screen? It was indescribable. What was your favorite part? When she pulled the little heist with the, um, when she was Trixie and got the money, that was I agree. We are back with Lexi and Jessica Rabe. Caught them right as they walked out of the theater. They have tears. How was it? It was sad. If you see this, be prepared to cry. I agree with that. Lexi, what was your favorite part about the movie? All of it. All right, I've got Kelsey Thomas, who plays one of the mean girls in the film. Kelsey, what did you think? We just finished watching it. How was it? It was really an emotional roller coaster. Like. I can't lie, I cried a few times. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed the movie. It was really, it was a really fun experience working on the set. It was really amazing. I'm here with Calvin and Chandler to get their fresh take on the film Tulsa. Calvin, what do you think? 
Um, it's one thing to work on a movie. It's another thing to see it. Kind of emotional. I'm not really an emotional person, but it's a, it's a really good movie. Yeah. What about you, Chandler? I'd have to agree with Calvin. Being able to see everything come together, and even especially at the end, I was telling him, watching the credits roll and seeing all the names that we had worked with, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. So it made these men cry too, it sounds like. It's a tearjerker for everyone. You guys got to check it out.